All right, this is one of the biggest questions that the FitFam brings to me. And by the way, guys, these videos are all created based on questions that I get every single day for one of our FitFam members. And so if this tip doesn't apply to you, you should pay attention because as soon as you start to get to working out, this is probably one of the questions that's gonna come up. And here you already have the knowledge and knowledge is power. So today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to get your protein. Shakes, bars, we got eggs, and batch cooking your proteins. So number one is protein shakes. They're simple to drink and you can carry them with ever you go and you can double them up. So some experts out there say that you can only absorb X amount of protein at any given time. Now, if you're in your caloric deficit, then you're consuming protein versus eating any other calories. Well, fat is higher in calories, but fat doesn't really help to supplement your muscle growth and carbohydrates are lower in calories or equal of calories per gram when it comes to protein, but carbs are meant for used for quick energy. So if you're on the go and you're not working out, then protein would be your first choice. And between having a double protein scoop or having a handful of granola, I would 100% tell you to have the protein scoops because in the end, if you're staying under your calories and you're hitting your protein goals, you're going to see muscle gain fat loss and weight loss. So the nice thing about shakes is that you can basically have them anywhere at any time. You can put a protein shake, it's a powder, and I've never really had any protein shakes spoil when I haven't mixed water and just keeping them in the car even on a hot day. If it's a cold day, perfect, then that protein powder is gonna be phenomenal. And some of you that live out of your car, you can actually just have a bag of protein in your car and just have a shaker, have some water bottles all around you and just Mix it while you're on the go. It's that simple and it's one of the best macros that's gonna help you to maintain your muscle, if not grow muscle, drop fat and drop weight. Number two, protein bars would be my second thing that I love to go to. My first meal of the day is always the greens. You guys know about my green shake, it's super simple. It's a scoop of greens powder, which has EAAs in it, a little bit of spinach, ice, water, blend that up. I chug that first just for health and digestion reasons. The second meal that I have is gonna be a double scoop of protein, which is about, or about 220 calories, but it's like 60 grams of protein and a Neri's bar. So that's about 450 calories. It's a nice small meal to get my day going. And I have a lot of meetings. I do a lot of my big thinking items, such as writing these content videos during the middle of the day. And as such, if I have a huge meal of equivalent protein and equivalent calories, like let's say I went and had uh, you know, chicken breast and rice and, and salad, like that's such a huge meal and it takes so much of the digestion process from my stomach, it takes away from my brain and my thought process, it makes me sleepy, it's a good meal, but I'd rather have something that is quick, doesn't take up a lot of volume, and I can have it while I'm working. So I do a double scoop of the Limitless Frere Rocher protein powder with one Neri bar. That's about just under 500 calories, and that's a perfect first meal. So for you, have these protein bars handy. I love Neri's bars because they're all natural. There's no preservatives. The second is the carb killer bars that we have available at the gym. So much taste, so much flavors, but there's way more additives in it. They're still tasty. The macros on them are okay. And then the last like that I really love is having Maria waffles because again, they're handmade, there's no preservatives, they're high in protein, and they taste great, which don't take up a lot of volume to eat. The third thing is eggs and egg whites. Eggs and egg whites are super simple. Today I had a meal by Jessica and it was like ground beef with some vegetables, some quinoa, and I just wanted to add a protein boost. So all I did was before I put the food from the Tupperware into a plate, I, I like to eat at a plate versus Tupperware, I took an egg, cracked an egg, put it in the bowl, put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, cooked the egg all the way through, then put the meal on top, heated that up, mixed it in, boom. I just added like 10 grams of protein. You can do the same with egg whites. And as soon as you mix it into food, it doesn't taste nasty, right? You know, when you microwave eggs or egg whites, it kind of tastes nasty. But if you mix it into food, it's a great way to increase the amount of protein that you're consuming per meal. And if you're like me, I don't have a, a lot of time to sit down and eat five meals like everybody else. Like I can barely get away with two meals a day. So I eat all of my food basically within a short window. And there's a lot of research on this. It's called a warrior fast where you just eat at a certain period of time. That's usually when I'm resting, when I'm like letting my body chill, when I don't need to think, when I don't need to work out or coach. And 
I don't know, I think I look okay. So it's a method that I would suggest for you. And this is a great way to add more protein. And the last but not least is that you should batch cook your proteins. You may not know exactly what you want to eat in two days, but if you've already pre-cooked ground beef, chicken, fish, or if you're vegan, your, your tempeh or your tofu, if you cook enough of this, so like if you cook a giant batch of ground beef, you can make a different high protein meal five or six different easy ways. You can do taco, you can do some type of like spaghetti, you can clump it together and make a meatball. Like literally there's four different days just from just cooking ground beef. So if you batch cook your proteins, at least you're prepared for the day. So there we have it guys. That's simple ways that you can increase the amount of protein that you're consuming in a day. Protein is the macro source that I do want you to focus on. And if you're looking to develop some new healthy snack ideas, well, I put together a list and I call them the Fit Club Super Easy Meal Prep Snacks. So in the description, there's a link there. Click it, enter your email, and I'll send it right over to you.